Should have opened up already. Yeah, go ahead. All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, as always, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. And um, we're going to do a lesson that's based on prophecy, all right? Which is the uh, division, okay, amongst the people. But in particular, uh, Esau, even because he's the, uh, the king of this earth right now, okay? As the scriptures say, um, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, okay? So he's the top dog right now. You know, this is his, you know, dominion. But within his dominion, what you're seeing right now is a division amongst the people, all right? And it's all of these people out here. It's not just amongst Esau, okay? You know, we were talking about, um, you know, you got in Europe... You know, the, what is it? the scriptures say that there's going to be, you know, uh, uproars of the people. You have in uh, France and Belgium, these farmers, they're going to, you know, these um, uh, political buildings and literally dumping manure all, you know, uh, all over the streets, all right? Getting like a little, like, um, I guess you'd call them all like, what do you call those, like hoses, spraying the, the manure on the, uh, 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 the official buildings. Okay, you know, you have uh, a great division in the United States right now with this uh, whole migrant situation. Okay, you have people who are for it, people who are against it. Mm -hmm. You see, there's a lot going on. And then this is beautiful because these things must occur. There, there, there needs to be um, this chaos. Okay, you know, okay, the Lord said it that, that he, 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 you know, he, he's uh, uh, um, going to cause divisions. I think that's in the book of Luke. All right, that's one of the things that Yahweh Shai, all right, it, it, you know, it, it said he was going to do. And we're seeing it right now. And there's so much more. You're seeing divisions even amongst Israel, okay? Yeah. You know, about what? The true doctrine, okay? So this is something that uh, 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 must occur, all right? It, 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 this is actually exciting, okay? If you have a spiritual eye, you know, you have those spiritual ears, you see? You got something? Yeah. This is on <clears throat> second edges nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently and it's so. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, so the Lord said, Measure thou the time diligently, and that's what we're doing right now, because as the brother Nazaki is mentioning, hey, we're seeing all this all this going on with uh, France, the migrants, and even the uproars of the people. And it says, then shall thou understand that it is the very same time where, wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. <laughs> and so much so much stuff is going on that brothers can't, uh, can't keep up with it. Eat the apostles, it's, it's just so much going on in, in the world, you know. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the, of the people in the world. And we see that going on, man. Even here in, uh, how you call it, North America, there's there's uproars of the people, man. There's uproars of the people everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are, uh, you'll hear this a lot, um, you know, in the news about people, uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, like, uh, of course, there's the protest, but there's a, uh, what do you call it? Um, it was, man, the, 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 Satan just took it out of my, my goddamn mouth, bro. But, uh, uh, uh you know how when you got, uh, you know, workers, uh, you know, mad at their company, you know, they're oh, protesting and all that stuff. Strikes. What? Strikes? Yeah, strikes. There we go. The water, brother. For some reason, Satan took it out of my mind. <laughs> that was weird as hell, man. But, uh, you see all these strikes, man, and they're mad about what? The pay, the work yeah. conditions, okay? Because, mm -hmm. look, Esau wants to pay you crumbs. And have you working in the worst conditions, you know what I'm saying, possible. Because he doesn't care about his employees, man. All right? What he cares about, you know, is the bag. The bottom line. Yep. That, that's what it's all about. Uh, how much, you know, money and how much can I profit? You know? That, that's all he's thinking about. Okay? But uh, you got more to that or no? Uh, yeah. It says... Then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, 
even from the beginning. Mm. <laughs> so all of this was written since the beginning, man. Let's you know that the, this truth and these words are, are will come to pass, man. And they are truth, man. You can't go wrong with this truth, man. I got some. Uh, this is Luke chapter 12, verse 51. Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but rather division. And that's what we see. Okay, look, the United States isn't united. Okay? <laughs> you, you got Texas that's basically giving the middle finger to the, 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 the federal uh, government. You know? Look, you, you, you got Russian officials that are trying to set up meetings now with, with Texas officials. Okay? And you got it, 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 that, it. That's heavy. That's heavy mm -hmm. because that, that's going to um, push uh, furthermore World War III, which, we, you know, we need that. Okay, in order to get out of here, World War III has to, you know, come to pass. So, it, it, these are beautiful things, man. All right? You see? Hey, like I mentioned earlier, you know, houses are divided. Some people are for the Republicans. Some people are for the Democrats. Okay? And some people are, you know, uh, pro, you know, alphabet community. <laughs> Others are, you know, uh, pro, uh, 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 I guess you could say conservative lifestyle, you know, having a, uh, family, you know, wife, husband, wife, children, you know what I mean? You see? It, this place is all, you know, divided. Okay? I'm going to keep reading. This is uh, verse 52, Luke 12 and 52 now. From, 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 so like, for, from henceforth, there shall be five in one house divided, three against two, and two against three. The, the son shall be divided again, no, so like, the father shall be divided against the son, the son against the father, the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, the mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And you see, that's, you know, what we're seeing, all right? But it's going to keep increasing, all right, as we get closer to the end, mm -hmm. all right? But then what's going to happen, and, what, and I'll say this, you're already seeing it, people are already losing their minds, man, killing family members, deleting them from the matrix, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. All right? Just getting mad over uh, the smallest things. Uh, 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 oh, you're gonna take my uh, uh, my PS5, mom? All right, you're gonna be deleted tonight via shotgun to the face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. This is what's really happening out here. You had that one dude. He literally yes. decapitated his his head, father. Uh, his father, oh, and he man. showed his head uh, on YouTube, yeah, man. Right? This is what's going on in the world. All right, but it's gonna get worse and worse as um. Lawlessness increases yeah. as anarchy uh, grows. You see, but uh, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this Matthew twenty four and twelve, and because iniquity shall abound, Ooh. the love of many shall yeah. wait go. So um, iniquity meaning that's a, a, a basically sinning. You know, breaking which sin is breaking the laws of mm -hmm. Yahweh Shemal Shai. Since that's abounding, what did it say? The last part. It says abound the love of many shall wax cold. The love of many shall wax cold. And that's what we see. P people, look, man, they hate their family members. They hate their co-workers, all right? You know, uh, back in the day, you know, years ago, especially if you're a older, Jake, you'll remember this. You, you would walk down the street, say hello to, you know, to a stranger. Everything's cool. You might, you know, have a nice conversation and part ways. Look, man, especially out here in Chicago, you, you get on the CTA, all right? <laughs> You look at somebody in the eyes, all of a sudden you might get into a goddamn brawl, man. You might get fucking stabbed to death, okay, just by looking at somebody. That's how serious it is, man, out here, okay? Hey, but it, all these things it have, have to come to pass, all right? Yeah. This is Luke 23 and 31. For if they do these things in a green tree, what shall be done in the dry? Mm -hmm. You know, and, and these iniquities, and they're just going to abound more and more into that day, all right? Because here, we, we still have liberties to do these things, and they're doing all this crazy shit now. Imagine when, when the lights go out here in America, when there isn't no 911, mm -hmm. all right? No one to turn to and help, or, or look for help for, or from. All right, yeah. shit's about to get even more real, man. All right, they're going to be uh, taking law on their own hands, not regarding the officials or anything, you see? And all, all this is doing is weakening uh, America, you know, and getting it divided. All right, and, and that's how it's gonna, that's how it's being set up. This is Isaiah nineteen and two, real quick. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians, 
and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right? So there's the times that we're coming in. You know, Esau is a crafty devil, man. All right, divide and conquer. All right, that's why he's making two oppositions, the right and the left, and everything in between, man, it broken up into even more smaller cal uh, categories, that's right. you know? And, th and they're going to fight amongst each other, you see? You, here it is, you got the Edomite preppers, and then you got your everyday liberal preppers, I mean, uh, Edomites, you know, who, who care less. Yep. All right, Th when this comes, it's going to take these people, you know, by a storm, man, like a storm, you know, a thief in the night. Hey, Dua, get that real quick where it talks about a uh, kingdom divided. But these things are beautiful. See, Esau cool, thinks that this is going to be, a, you know, a benefit, you know, to him. Right. But it's really not. That's why the scriptures talk about, uh, um, is there no more uh, uh, wisdom, wisdom and teaming? teaming? Yeah. These are, you know, uh, uh, very foolish moves to have your people actually, you know, against one another. Look, man, see, because in the, our kingdom, it's going to be a uh, unification, so to speak. All right, you know, first off, the Israelites are going to be perfect in order, everything perfect, in complete, order. Complete, uh, in complete order. Yeah. Okay. Now, even amongst the heathen, I'll say this. Now, of course, they're going to go off because they're in the flesh, right? But the, as it says in Isaiah, the second chapter, it says they're going to come to the basically the Mount of Zion. I think that's how it's worded, and, and learn from us. So we're going to have, look, man. There, look, the laws are going to be put into place. The laws of Yahweh Shemashai, and that's it. Because look, in this place, right, let's just say America, if we cross, you know, the, the border, right, we go to, uh, whether it be Indiana, whether it be um, uh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin uh, Iowa, uh, Iowa, uh, what is that, uh, Missouri, Missouri, right, yeah. things can change. I'll say this, we can go from Chicago to a suburb, right, that's close by, Summit, and, and you can have different laws. Yeah. That quick, man. Okay. You see? You know, it, but in our kingdom, it's going to be, you know, hey, they, they, this is it. These laws, and that's it. There's going to be no division. All right? And this is how a kingdom collapses when there's a uh, division, you know, it, 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 in the household. All right? But get that. This is uh, Mark 3 and 24. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I guess. You can start there. Yeah. Cool. And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that Wait, kingdom... I'm sorry, can you just hit 23? This is bothering me. It's starting 23. God. Sorry. Mark yeah. 3 <laughs> and 23, it says, And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? Right, and mean adversary against adversary, who is Esau Edom, all right? They're divided amongst each other. Go ahead. Verse 24, And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself yeah. and, and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. Mm. <laughs> exactly. So if you're divided, you're, you're, your whole household, your whole kingdom is, you know, at war with each other, all right, it's going to fall. It's not going to stand. Simple as that. So what we're seeing right now is beautiful. Okay, it's a beautiful thing that um, the, 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 there's, you know, uh, liberals versus uh, conservatives, all right? Uh, the, the U.S. versus Russia. You know what I'm saying? This is a beautiful thing, okay? Mm -hmm. And what, what's funny is as you're seeing Esau's kingdom go at war with each other, you're seeing the house of David, all right? The elect being unified through this word, man. Through the spirit of power, Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Scriptures talk about how what there's gonna be no division amongst us, meaning we're gonna be speaking the same, you know, uh, doctrine, mm -hmm. the same word, seeing eye to eye, seeing you know, eye to eye. It says in the book of Isaiah. All right, so this is you know, uh, see the Lord's all about balance, man. Okay, but uh, is there any more to that? Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. If, if not, I got it. something. Yeah, that was it. Wait a second, that's what you want me to get there. What you got? Uh, about, because you mentioned about how there's going to pretty much be sedition amongst men. Yeah, bring it up, bring it up. Come on. This is um, <clears throat> Second Ezra chapter 15, I'll start at 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. 
Okay, so there's going to be a lot of um, battles, all right? And we're seeing it already. But it's going to be in, in your local streets, all right? Oh, yeah. Look, uh, uh, you know, uh, Billy down the block, all right, is going to be f fighting Tommy, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. See what I'm saying? They're going to be, you know, uh, uh, going at it. And they, they, and what's going to be crazy is those two were best friends. Oh, can I get this? Oh, you got it. You know? uh, Second Ezra chapter 6, and verse 24. And then... 23, maybe? Okay. What's 23 say? Uh, let, me, let me just grab it. Sorry, I had notes here. <laughs> this is uh, Second Ezra chapter 6. I can start at 22, because it goes into, you know, the famine as well. Uh, yeah, because, you know... Hey, yeah, 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 bring that out, because, you know, I'm going to make a point on that. Yeah, in Second Ezra chapter 6, verse 22. And suddenly, shall the song post... Uh, song Places appear unsown. Mm -hmm. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. So basically, all your stores, okay, are going to be you know empty, okay. Whether you know you know goods were stolen or they just ran out of product, right? You know, we were mentioning these farmers. Look, mm -hmm. these farmers are you know upset. Eventually, there's going to be a halt in production, okay. Mm -hmm. Look, your your truckers are going to stop. You know, uh, delivering your goods, because you know, the, you know, uh, price in diesel is gonna get so high. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Look, you, 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 we've already seen it. Uh, you had disruption in the Red Sea, okay? The Suez Canal. What happened to the the uh, the prices of, of uh, items? It skyrocketed. So imagine when those things are like really halted, though, like not for a week, two weeks. We're talking about months. It's just a, a you know product you know uh, um, you know that traveling that that transportation is just cut now. You're not gonna get your stuff, man. And remember, especially out here in America, this is an import country now. It's not really an export country. So America, you Americans, you Babylonians are gonna be you know screwed. Your 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 uh, luxury that you're so used to is gonna be stripped from you. Yeah. Okay. And that's because of your pride. You know, the scriptures talk about that in the second Ezra, the eighth chapter. It's, you know, these, you know, uh, great calamities and, and, you know, these perilous times are coming to these cities because of the pride that they had. All right? Right. So you're going to really feel it. Right. See, these people are really going to feel it. Okay? Especially here. It's going to happen worldwide, but here, it's going to be on a whole nother level, man. Right. You know, this is the grand finale, basically. Yeah. Okay, but was there more to that? There's more, yeah. Second Ezra 6 and 23, And the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Mm. And at that time shall friends fight one against another Ooh. like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountains shall, shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Yep, so you're going to see friends... All right, loved ones fight, you know, one another. Okay, you see, and then the, and then going into that um, those uh those fountains, right? Those that have water, basically. Mm -hmm. You know, that's twofold. You're gonna have actual, you know, uh, water sources be, you know, uh, uh, you know, cut off, and then also spiritually speaking, you're not gonna receive this word anymore. Yeah. You know, those living waters are, are gonna be, you know, cut off because right now. It, let me get this real quick. Okay, so the book of Paul, you got Just real quick, because yeah, this word right here is what matters above everything else, man. Alright? Soon you won't be able to, 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 to you know get this word. Alright, hear the words of Yahweh Bashim Al-Shai. The famine of the word is, is coming. It's mm -hmm. approaching. That's right. This is uh Proverbs chapter 5, verse 16. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad mm -hmm. in rivers of waters in the streets. And that's what we're doing, alright? We're, we're, you know, giving you guys, you know, uh, 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 we're giving the people, they, they, you know, that, that, that bread of life, all right, hey, the, the, the living waters through the spirit of Har Yahweh Shai. Yep. But eventually it's going to get cut off. Eventually Amos, the eighth chapter, is going to come into place. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. Okay. This is uh, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, mm -hmm. but of the hearing of the words of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So eventually, this word is going to get cut off, man. All right? It's going to get cut off. And the brother, um, he 
he had a video that uh, uh, he was watching uh, earlier that was uh, posted by the, uh, the elder Southside Mike out here about how the what was it the government wants the banks to notify them if you're buying basically Bibles okay and why is that why 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 would they want the 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 banks to notify them it's because look there's gonna be a a, a, a there's going to be a war with the men of the Lord, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come down with that great wrath. Mm -hmm. All right? I think that's in uh, 2 Ezra as well. You know, let me get that real quick. What's 2 Ezra 16? I think it says an insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Around 70. Uh, check this yeah, 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 yeah. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 70. For there shall be in every place yep. and in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Mm. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. All right, so that's what's coming. Esau's going to come down with that wrath. He's going to try to get the followers and believers of Yahweh Bashanah Shah. But I'll say this. In this time period, the majority of us are going to be, you know, per, you know, uh, for lack of words, protected and shielded. All right. Now, there's going to be some of those who are in this faith that have to, you know, be a, a, a martyr, so to speak. Okay. They're going to have to die for this word because that's the they have to. Certain brothers and you know sisters have to fulfill that scripture in uh, was it Revelation? We're talking about how how they're going to be beheaded. Oh, yeah. You know. So some are going to be you know, apprehended by Esau. But the majority of us, we're going to be good, man. All right? The Lord's going to lift up that standard in that day. Oh, yeah. I guess. Oh, you got it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Isaiah 59, 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against them. Woo! You see, so hey, the, the Lord's going to deliver his men. All right? Mm -hmm. Here it is, uh, we, we've died in this faith multiple times, you know, in our past lives, man, this, but this ain't 70 AD. This is a time where the Lord triumphs, and he, his name is magnified, all right? And he comes and he delivers his men that cry in Sion to him. And that's why the name of the Lord is so important, because it's a strong tower. And the righteous runneth into it and is safe, you see? So we're going to be delivered in these last days, man, mm -hmm. all right? You know, a lot of these men on the fence, you know what I'm saying, that do get, you know, salvation later on, I, you know, I speak as a man, but I believe they will be beheaded to show their faith. Right now, we're short our faith by our works, you know what I'm saying? And, and we trust and believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's why all these other prophecies of us uh, having abundance, receiving a hundredfold, being delivered, all right, getting all those maidens, you know, the goat's milk. All right, these things are written, hey, to comfort us in these last days, man, because this, this is how it's going to play out for the elect, his chosen ones, the one that the ones that the Lord has a, a care for. I was going to say, too, these plagues are made for the wicked, as the scripture says, yeah, Sirach. Yeah, for Sirach 40, verse uh, 9 and 10, mm -hmm. you know, and that's the same reason why the flood came. Yeah. You see, so this isn't for us. This is for the two-thirds, man, and, and the heathens to feel. Yep. All right, the Lord's going to uh, deliver us, man. That's what's going to happen. The Lord's going to deliver us, and His name is going to be exalted and magnified at the end of the day. That's right. I got a little more. This is yeah. 2 Ezra 16 and 73 now. Then shall they be known who are my chosen. All right? And how are they going to know when that standards lift up? Because miracles are going to be uh, 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 performed, okay? You know, uh, uh, things that can't be explained by science, all right, is going to occur. Mm -hmm. You see, then people are going to know, they're going to know, like, and they're going to say, these are the men of the Lord. These are the children of Israel. Yep. All right. You see, I'm going to keep reading. And it says, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Hear, O ye, my beloved. All right. Which is, I'll say this, the, uh, the, uh, the name David. All right. The Wad in the Hebrew. Okay. It means what? Beloved. And it talks about the sure mercies of David. Yep. That's, that's the elect. That, that household. So what does it say here? Hear, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Yeah. You're going to be delivered if you're part of the household of, of, of um, that household, all right? The part of the elect, the house of David. You're going to get the sure mercies of David, okay? 
Look, your 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 iniquities, your sins are going to be you know uh, uh, blotted away. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lord's not going to look uh, uh, on your wrongs; He's going to look on your rights. All right, and that's because you've been offering righteous sacrifices, things that are pleasing to the Lord, unlike the two thirds of our people. All right, who have uh, the sacrifice of Cain, basically. You know, you see. And I got a little more. It says, be not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High Yahweh is your God. Okay, so don't... Oh, do you want me to keep there's reading? There's more, yeah. Okay. God of them to keep my precepts. Oh, so yeah, there's, there's more than that. I'll keep reading. <laughs> Verse 76. And the God of them who keep my precepts, so like my commandments and precepts, saith the Lord Yahweh. Yep, exactly. <laughs> the Lord's going to guide those who are, are who are in order, man, to the best of their ability. You see? Not, not, not no fucking punk... All right, that's on the block with, with a bunch of dreads shooting the, you know, the neighborhood up. Okay, you know what I'm saying? No, 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 a hoe that's been, uh, you know, riding the car carousel, you know, for fucking, you know, two decades. The Lord ain't, ain't, ain't trying to save people like that. The Lord ain't dealing with these, you know, uh, false prophet groups saying that, uh, yeah, you know, we don't have to worship Yahweh Shari. All right. The Apostle Paul, his writings aren't, you know, authoritative. You see what I'm saying? Guys like that are, are going to get smoked, man. I mean, look, you got to remember, there's a lot of two-thirds. So a lot of our people are going to get put to death. They're going to get deleted, man. All right? But the elect, which is still a big number, all right, that one-third, hey, they're going to get saved. All right? And I'm going to keep reading. Let not your sins weigh you down. Let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Mm -hmm. And so there's a balance. So don't have that, you know, woe is me spirit. You know, stop thinking about the past. Your mess ups like, oh my God, you know, the Lord's going to kill me because I did this. You know what I'm saying? Like, have faith that the Lord's going to forgive you. Now, of course, be sorrowful, you know. But, but, but don't, uh, uh, as the scriptures say, take no heaviness to heart, man. Yeah. You know, don't don't uh, uh, dwell on it to the point where you you feel like that you're not worthy, for lack of words, where you're not worthy to, to receive salvation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right, yeah. Cause, where you, you know, just, oh, I'm done. I, yeah. I messed up so much, I'm done now. No, uh, Yahweh Shah was that perfect sacrifice. So if, because of that, we should be going harder. You see? Because all have fallen short, all have sinned. But because of Yahweh Shah, all right, Yahweh Shah's sacrifice, hey, he's made a way for us back to the Father. All right, and our sins will be blotted out. And receiving this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, hey, this is a sign of mercy right here. Mm -hmm. All right, because hey, we didn't, we we, we haven't been called, uh, you know, for destruction, but to obtain salvation, as the scripture says. Yeah. All right, so hey, we shouldn't faint. All right, we should be pushing harder and harder and doing better. All right, examining ourselves. All right, because we are in this flesh, so hey, we're, we're gonna make mistakes even now, knowing this truth. Yep. But hey, you got to get back up and, and, and strive forward, man. All right? Because hey, we, we've won. We got Yahweh Shai on our side. Mm -hmm. We know and understand the Lord. Not everyone knows that. Yep. You see? So that, that should give us that confidence, man. All right? And that's why brothers should be reading. Brothers need to be reading and constantly watching themselves with this word. All right? And, and see the reputation of Yahweh Shai in here. The, it's, he's written this whole volume. The whole book is written of him. You know, if you, if you uh, uh, read your scriptures, have you not read? You know, <laughs> is it not written? Is it not written? All right. Hey, the scriptures talk about how the Lord is very pitiful. All right. He has, you know, compassions, mercies. Yeah. You know, Low, lowly it, of heart. You, you just got to read, you know, the, the Lord. It, 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 look, scriptures in, uh, what is it? Uh, in, in wrath of uh, Habakkuk, right? In your wrath, remember mercy. Yeah. The Lord's going to remember, you know, uh, uh, his merciful side, all right, to the elect. You got to remember these things. The Lord isn't just going to de destroy all of Israel. There's going to be that remnant that's, you know, that's going to get saved. All right? Right. Uh, you, you still have that, um, you had some? Yes, yeah, so just real quick to, to back up what you just said. Um... Uh, this is just a little bit. I'll read it real quick. This is Psalms 103. I'll start at 10. Oh, I just read this recently. He has not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward him that fear him. So it's, it's key to fear Yahweh Bashim you got to fear the Lord. 
As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord Yahweh pitieth them that fear him. Mm. For he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. You see, so he's going to have mercy on us if you accept Yahweh, you know, his son Yahweh Shai. You honor him just like we honor uh, the father. You see? And, and what? Take heed to his word. Take heed to the commandments, man. And, and keep them to the best of your ability because we are rehearsing the righteous acts. We still, we're still in this uh, chains of darkness, this flesh. But the Lord sees that we try through faith in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who we call upon. Uh -huh. You got that uh, Amos still on? Yeah. yeah finish it up. I started 11 again. God, this is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, mm -hmm. that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of the hearing of the words of the Lord. Keep going. Verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. and shall not find it. Yep, that's what's going to happen. Keep going, though. Read the next verse. It says, verse 13. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. Exactly. And that's not talking about literal water. I mean, you could use that too as well. But this is talking about that spiritual water. They're going to be thirsty for it, but they're not going to find it. Why? Because they look, that spiritual uh, uh, faucet is turned off now. Mm -hmm. You know? If we were out there for how long, you know, uh, uh, you know, teaching. That's why the, the, the scriptures say what? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. And the time is nigh. You know, the, it make no tearing to turn to the Lord. But see, our people, this is the problem with, with the majority of uh, uh, Jake out there. They, they, they want to get right when all hell breaks loose. You know, when they're, when they're in trouble. All right, when, when they're, you know, uh, on the hospital bed, getting operated on, in jail. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, it got 10 years, 15, 20 years. You know what I'm saying? That's when they want to turn to the, to, to the most high. No, it's got to be now. Okay? And see, our people, they do it. I'll say this. <laughs> when they turn to the Lord, they're still going off because they, they don't know the Lord. You yeah. know? Yeah. All right? But you know how Jake gets, man. But uh, let me finish this in 2 Ezra. Um, the uh, 15 chapter. We never uh, finished it. This is back in 2 Ezra 15. And I'll read 15 again. For the sword of the destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men. <laughs> Alright? Sedition among men. Okay? And we see that. People, and I'll say this, that word sedition, now it goes into, you know, of course, the physical act of uprising against the government. But one of the definitions that I found when I was looking into that word, it actually goes also into your speech. Okay? And you see that throughout the entire world, okay? Whether you be here in America, you're in France, okay? You know, uh, you're in, in Mexico, you're in uh, uh, somewhere in South Africa, the people are saying, F the government, basically. You know? Mm -hmm. That's what they're, the, 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 that's, you know, the mindset of the people. Everybody worldwide is suffering right now, and only a few people are calling the shots. That's why they were out there in um, the WEF. They were out there in, in, in uh, Switzerland, in da uh, Davos. Okay? They had a whole, you know, what was it, a week or two, you know, a uh, 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 gathering. And what do you think they're talking about? First and foremost, the Israelites, no doubt about it. Yeah. But the, the other things are what? How can we keep oppressing the, these pe you know, the people as a whole? How, you know, you know, um, how are we going to get this NWO going? Man, we, we want to get this, you know, uh, we, we, we want to get the train moving, man. You know? That, that, that's, that's what they were talking about. All right? And look, hey, that, that Charles, was it a Charles Schwab? He said, what was it, 2016? 16, 16. 16, right? Yeah. That look, you people are going to own nothing and like it. And he said, in 10 years, you're going to be microchips. Woo! So that's okay. 2016. So we're we're very close to the end, man. Yep. So they, they, they saw he he's he's getting things in motion, man. Yep. You see, but uh, I got a little bit more. This is a uh, second Ezra's 15. 
And mind you, this is a, a, a if you don't know who that guy is, he's a part of the WEF, if I'm not mistaken, the head of it. Okay? And the, the, the WEF is the World uh, Economic Forum. They're basically, you know, uh, this is basically where all the, you know, the government officials and the CEOs and major companies, they gather and meet and make decisions, you know, uh, to that, that impact your life as a commoner. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay? So, that guy has, you know, great power, man, in this world. See, but let me uh, keep reading. This is uh, 2 Corinthians 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Oh, yeah. It, 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 didn't, didn't you just see them uh, Venezuelans, all right, stomp out some cops in New York City? Yep. And look, man, it's going to it's, it's start getting worse, man. Hmm. Not, not just, you know, some Venezuelans, you know, uh, that, that are just, you know, walking around in the streets. No, man, you're going to have, you know, Esau who, with his guns start, you know, Blowing off, you know, the deputy, the sheriff, you know, start blowing their heads off, man. And then eventually invaded by other countries. You know what I'm Ooh. saying? If I could back you up real quick with this. Uh, Jeremiah 51 and 14, the Lord Yahweh of hosts of armies hath sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with cat caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. So... Talking about, hey, we're going to be invaded by other nations, man. Right now, America is being divided. It's being weakened, all right? And, and when the lights go out, hey, these other nations are, good, are going to come through and pillage these villages, man. This, this is the, the, the place of unwalled villages. This is America, Babylon the Great, all right? So, hey, these nations are going to come in, and when the enemy comes like a flood, the Lord's going to lift up a standard for his men, for his elects, man. You see? He's going to turn, he's also going to turn us into hunters, as Jeremiah 16 and 16 says. All right? So we got to just hold on to this and endure to the end because, hey, our, our time is near. He's going to bring us fame in every land that we've been put to shame, man, especially here in America. Then you're going to know who the Lord's chosen are. All right? And we're, and we're going to witness all these things, man. You know, another term for martyr is a witness. Yep. All right? We're witnesses of this truth. You see, of you how much you shy, you know? And we're, we're going to make it out of here. And in Psalms 91, it says, With thine eyes shall thou see the, the reward of the wicked. All right? And Job it says, it'll, it'll come not near thee or nigh thee. You know what I mean? Even in, in Psalms 91, I think it says that. But go ahead. I'm sorry. No, you got to say that. <laughs> no, it's all good. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and um, uh, 16. Let's finish it out. For, this, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. Mm -hmm. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. All right, and then you know your modern day kings and princes are basically your you know uh, your presidents, congressmen, mayors, so on and so forth, cops, you know whoever it may be. It says, "In the course of their action shall stand in their power, and man shall desire to go into a city mm. and shall not be able." All right, and that's when Esau is going to be justified in declaring martial law and and, and, and shutting stuff down. Yeah. Okay. Which is coming very soon. Yep. For because of their pride. The city shall be troubled, and houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. That's why all this is going to uh, uh, happen, because of pride. Mm -hmm. If you have pride, that means you've departed from your maker, yeah. meaning the Most High. You think your ways are actually better than the Heavenly Father. All right, which, you, hey, you, you people are going to find out that the best way is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's way. All right, verse 19. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right. And this is what's coming. People are going to raid. They're going to raid. All right. Okay. Purge season. Yep. They're going to want your beans, your chicken, your woman, you. All right. Yeah. A lot of you guys are going to get raped too, man. Yeah. There's a lot of freaks out here, man. You know, so-called straight guys, they low-key, they be dabbling, you know, and, and um, they, they be switch hitting, man. This shit really be happening out here. This All is right. America. Yeah, exactly. All right. You know, it, 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 it's going to get real freaky out here. Real freaky and creepy, man. All right. You got, you got something? Yeah, this uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Rock 23 and 27, and they that remain shall know that there is nothing better than the fear of the Lord, 
and that there is nothing sweeter than to take heed unto the commandments of the Lord. You see, because hey, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the, the first step of being accepted of Him. You see? That's why, hey, as the scripture says, come and learn the fear of the Lord, man. All right, there's nothing better than this. All right, it's going to bring you and your household and those that hear you to salvation, man. Because we're entering into a, a time that's like no other, Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. And this is the only way out of it, it is through Yahweh Bashem All right, and fearing the Lord, man. Fear the Lord and keep his commandments, as it says, the whole duty of man. I got one. Okay. This is Daniel's twelve and one, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, who is standing for the children of that people, and there shall be a time of trouble mm -hmm. such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time that people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. Mm -hmm. So it tells you, man, a time of trouble that has never been since a nation, man. Brother just mentioned Jacob's trouble. So it's gonna get really, it's gonna get really bugged out, like the brother said, freaky and creep, and creepy, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and those that be a part of that number, that they want, they're they're gonna be delivered for from the times they're up to approach, man. Cause it's mm -hmm. gonna get really bad out here, man. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. You gotta remember, he saw he's gonna be able to use his blessing to the full extent. Yeah. You know, so a lot of you know. Death is gonna come, all right, right through that. And people are, are are this is the most vile time period that we're in. That's why I said that things are gonna get freaky and creepy. Hey, Amen. These people are sadists, sodomites. You know what I'm saying? It's a little, it's gonna be fucking terrible, man. Hey, you know this modern day world doesn't have you know food. You know in, in, you know in the streets like that. There's no fruit trees. You know. People don't own, you know what I'm saying, chickens and cows and all that. Oh, yeah. You know no, what I mean? No real uh, wealth or money. Yeah, there's no, no cattle, resources, man. No livestock, no land. So people are going to go nuts. And so these people are all bugged out from the, the, the food to the drugs that are, the, you know, that are out here. You know, the, uh, the, the you know, their, their, their injections. You know what I'm saying? The 5G. These people are nuts, man. Real shit. Okay, can I give one more scripture? Yeah. Since what you mentioned. Uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 40. O my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth, man. So, hey, be ready to let all this go. Don't hold on to any of this stuff, all right? Follow the spirit of Yahweh, you know, and above all this, pray to the Lord that he directs your steps in truth. All right, because we're coming into this time, man. All this shit is temporary, and you gotta you gotta realize that. You see? So don't hold on to this, man. Be as pilgrims, be ready to move around, man. Alright, shit's about to get real grimy out here. Yep. You know? And that's why, hey, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. You see, Isaiah 33 and 6. Hey, the fear of the Lord, man. That man, that's chief, man. You gotta have the fear of the Lord. If you don't feel the Lord, hey, I don't know what to say for you, man. Hold on to that. You know, hold on to the fear of the Lord and serve Him, man. Um, anything else? Hey, and with that, you know, hopefully this was an edifying one. We're going to end this lesson. And with that, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Apostles. Salutations to all you brothers out there. Hey, we, you know, we've seen those comments, you know. You know, I hate the water for, you know, participating, you know, throwing, you know, precepts. Mm -hmm. I was so lucky we couldn't get to, you know, all the precepts, you know, but, uh... Oh, can I say something real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the elder Malcolm has said, Khan, watch a Soviet of the snow. People were eating their dead friends and family members. Damn. Mm -hmm. Wow. The water, yeah. like, Khan. So imagine that, but, you know, <laughs> amplified by how much, you know? <laughs> Hey man, like uh, uh, uh you know, no end. Because you mentioned that. Now I don't know if it's still up there, but when Venezuela, you know, first, you know, uh, uh, collapsed. Oh yeah. Bro, we bring this out often. Mm -hmm. There was a prison that was basically left to, yeah. to rot, you know. And so the prisoners were, you know, they, they were out of their uh, cells, but they they couldn't leave the prison, you know, because they were 
they got all the barbed wire, all that good stuff, right? There was footage of a dude raping another dude while eating his ear like he was Tyson, man. That's all I'm gonna say. Right. All right. So, yeah, this is what's coming. So, hey, hey, hey fear you how about you, all shy? Hey, get in this spiritual arc. Yeah. And just pray that you're a part of the elect and continue to uh, uh, put up those righteous sacrifices. We, uh, you know, we're gonna end this lesson, and with that, we're gonna give all praises, honor, and glory to. Yeah, I know also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone and salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom, Shalom. 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 Shalom.